chicken nuggets, cornbread, some other stuff that's always there for lunch. Woo! Woo! Lunch. Good morning, Wilson. Happy Wednesday. I'd like to take this time just to go over a few things that are going on, a few things we've been seeing. Uh, one that's going on today is that we're going to switch lunch seats. Um, so when you come into lunch, we need to get to, down there as soon as possible, uh, send your assigned seats and we'll wait for further instructions and we'll tell you how we're going to go about switching those lunch seats. Two, I know the fundraiser took place back in September. We are starting to see some of those prizes that are coming out. One we saw on Monday, I handed out the coops. So if you were absent on Monday, make sure you see me if you sold at least one item. Two, we spun the big wheel on November 22nd. I think the highest prize is $60 that someone won, which is awesome. Uh, the other ones that are coming, upcoming, is uh, Kona Ice. If you sold eight items, uh, it'll take place in January or February. We're, yet, we're still working on scheduling a date for that event. If you sold three items, you will get take part in the Pitch Burst. The Pitch Burst will take place in the springtime. And if you sold 15, or sorry, if you, if you're the top sellers, which we have our top sellers coming forward, our top sellers, um, were in eighth grade, Stevie Voss, Vaught. He is our top eighth grade winner. Seventh grade winner was Ben Demmer. And our sixth grade winner was Dalton Port. You will receive a gift card for you, for enough for you and I believe two other friends to attend the trampoline park over in Taylor. Uh, those are to, to come. Okay. So congratulations. Uh, I think Stevie was, was the biggest winner with 63 items sold. Uh, Ben had 59 items sold. So relatively close. You guys raised us a lot of money as well as everyone else. We had about 260 students that participated in the fundraiser, which is awesome. Uh, some other odds and ends that we've been seeing. Uh, I know the weather's changing. We're seeing snow on the ground. Make sure the snow stays on the ground. We're not having snowball fights out there. Uh, two, make sure as weather changes, you are wearing jackets and gloves because it is getting cold out there. You want know, to make sure you take care of your hands and, and your body and keep warm. Um, and tardies, make sure you're getting to class on time. I wish they'll see a lot of kids, especially first hour. You guys, we need to wake up a little bit early to get to school and get to our, our class on time. You're missing some valuable uh, learning time. I've been handing out consequences for tardies. So if you're continuously tardy, you will get uh, detentions, and those can lead to other other things. Uh, make sure that you're being safe, and go Warriors. Thank you, Mike Cassie Music, for the new chords. Mr. Madeline's broadcasting class appreciates your gifts. The girls' swim meet won all three of their meets. Seventh grade boys' basketball won 27-13 to 13 against Trenton. Wyandotte has a game against Shoemate. 7th grade goes at 4 and 8th grade goes at 5. Here are some public service announcements from the Wilson video. Math counts meeting at 2.45 p.m. Any donations should be dropped off in the LRC's old computer lab for warrior closets. They should no longer be placed in the office, classrooms, or anywhere else except the LRC computer lab area. Hey Wilson students, this is Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. This giant plushie here is available for you to win and a raffle. So if you come down to the warrior closet either after school or during your lunch, two PBIS points will get you a ticket and you can purchase as many tickets as you want. And on December 10th, we will be doing a drawing from this jar right here to choose that lucky winner that wins Foxy. All right, hey Wilson, this is for the girl soccer players only. Um, any girl interested, 6th, 7th, or 8th grade at playing soccer for Wilson Middle School or next year when you're in 9th grade at the high school, uh, there's going to be a short meeting with the varsity soccer coach for the girls, Coach Stevens, on Monday, December 13th, right after school in the cafeteria. Uh, contact me, Mr. Koneko, if you have any questions. USA! 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 Woo! Gamer Club and Mr. Medlin's room after school. Remember, this club is only for 6th graders. The 7th and 8th grade club will meet next week. High heels or platform shoes. This is not the 70s. If you have any sports pictures, please turn it into Mr. Medlin. We will put them on morning announcements. 
In Mr. Mellon's broadcasting class, they're in charge of the yearbook. There is a contest to make the new cover. These rules are it must include the date, must have her school name, must have a positive message, it has to be full of color, color and it must make people smile. Extending the application deadline for student council until Friday, December 3rd. If you're available, one through two Wednesday mornings a month and would like to represent your house, please see Ms. Barton in room 100 in for an application. By the stairs. Wilson Warriors on December 2nd at 7 o'clock in the old gym. The students' first staff volleyball game will take place. It will cost a dollar to get in and you will need an adult with you to attend. Decorations like Miss Edwards, and you want to see them on the announcements, send Mr. Menlin a picture or a video. Hey, Service Squad is still collecting food this month. Um, again, from November 29th to December 3rd, that's this week, make sure you bring in the canned soups, the pasta sauce, and the cereals. Just make sure that you bring them in as soon as possible. Remember, there are prizes rewarded every week, and there will be an overall grand prize at the end of this. Help people out and bring in that food. And those were your morning announcements. Have a great day. And now, let us stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.